We just got back from a great time in Orlando. Um, we were down in Winter Park where the uh, Orlando Corvette Club celebrated their 30th anniversary. It was a great time. Great folks. Uh, great area. Boy, the area down in Winter Park is beautiful. Wow, we had a just, just absolutely great. Um, so we'll show you the videos of that coming up. And uh, stay tuned at the very end because we had a... I'll call it an experience with the uh, Corvette navigation system trying to get out of Orlando, which you will not uh, believe. I'll tell you the story in the very end, but let's go to the good stuff first and uh, show you show you the video. So I'm going to start off with uh, just walking around with the regular camera and showing you the all the cars. Not all the cars were there yet. And then later on, you'll see more cars because the show just cars kept coming all day. So that was great. And we met a lot of great people, a lot of great Corvette owners. Um, it, it was really good. But enjoy the video. Here we go. We're here at the entrance of the show today. There's a gentleman out here doing all the hard work. There's all the hard, hard working work. guys oh, right over here. Look at that. <laughs> what? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. We appreciate you. Today we're here with Juliana, and she's going to tell us a little bit about what she's doing here today. Hi there. We are hosting a car show this afternoon, partnered with the Corvette Club of Orlando to offer a free event to the local community to come out, um, spend an afternoon, uh, car gazing, shopping. We've got some great sales, kid-friendly activities, some face painters, balloon vendors. Um, Restaurants are offering up some great specials, and we are hoping everybody comes out and enjoys Winter Park Village today. Maybe let's have a big show. 
certainly enough live C8s out here today. I know, I sound like four or five of them already, just from what I can see. There's a lot of yellows up there, too. Yeah, there's a lot of yellows. Take a look. You'll notice that the heavy crowd wasn't in the video. I shot the video before the crowds all got there. So um, you could get a better look at the cars because a lot of people would be standing in front of them around them. So we got, I think we got some good video for you there and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hit the like button if you like it. And also um, 
hit the subscribe button. We're always looking for new subscribers, uh, and that would help us out too, and there's no cost. So uh, anyway, um, great time with the Orlando Corvette Club. And I wanted to talk at the end, as I promised you, about the navigation system in the Corvette. It really failed us this weekend. I mean, really, if I were to give it a grade, I'd give it an F. It was awful. When we were going into Orlando on I-4, a couple of times we thought we had to go through a toll, said something about a toll booth, get to the toll booth. We got over to the right and went through a couple of tolls. <laughs> Probably cost me extra money. I don't know. But uh, then uh, the worst part was coming out. Coming out, it was telling, and it was tons of traffic. Remember, we're in the Orlando, Disney, people from all over the world, and rent cars. It gets pretty crazy. So I-4, by the way, I-4, I don't go on I-4 unless I absolutely have to. To get to this event, I had to do about eight miles on I-4, and that was my nightmare. 50, 60 mile drive, 50 some odd mile drive. Uh, the eight miles was the worst part of the whole drive. The navigation system was telling me, get over to the left in two-tenths of a mile, you have to take exit such and such. I get over to the left. God bless the people that were on I-4 that let me go because it was wall-to-wall -wall cars and every, all four lanes, five lanes were packed. You couldn't even move. So they let me over. I get over there, all of a sudden, oh, no, in two tenths of a mile, you want to take exit on the right. So now I get all the way over on the other side. I'm going, what the heck is going on? Very several false exits, false incorrect uh, directions uh, that had us going crazy. And I'm yelling at my wife, you got to keep watching the nav system. I need you, you know. <laughs> it wasn't her fault. It wasn't my fault. It's the navigation's fault. Navigation's terrible. So... Guess what my next video is going to be on? Android Auto and Waze. I like them both. Uh, I thought this system was going doing fine. I've had a couple of other misdirections with the system, and I just thought, well, it was a little hiccup. This system's not that good. And here's the other thing that really ticked me off. I get a thing from Chevrolet. Oh, gee, you want to upgrade your navigation system, your maps, you want to upgrade your maps? And I'm thinking, oh, that would be nice. That's, I have a Garmin. They always give me free maps and streets. Lifetime. Chevrolet, I own the car one year. You know what they want? A couple hundred bucks. A couple of hundred bucks? You got to be kidding me. That should be free. In fact, I should be getting an apology note from Chevrolet saying, <laughs> we're sorry for the lousy navigation system we put in your car. And here's a new system to take care of the one that sucks that's in your car right now. That's what they should be doing. But that's my rent. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Stay tuned for Android Auto. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the, the video, and thanks for watching. And we'll see you again on the next time we do a video.